Um, yes, I'm talking about the coordinating office and also the new GIGUS websites. Um, so uh, the first uh, general information about the coordinating office. Um, the coordinating office is in the center of the structure of GIGUS. You can see it on the right side in the structure diagram. Um, and I want to, to outline the, the task of the coordinating office a little bit. The, in, the internal tasks, uh, for example, the supporting of the president of GIGOS and also the coordination between and the supporting of the GIGOS components and also the coordination with IAG components. And then there are also external tasks, um, for example, the um, organizing meetings and conferences like this GIGOS days or the Unify or help in the Unified Analysis Workshop, and also the communication to the stakeholder organizations and also the outreach activities. And I want to focus in this presentation um, about the outreach activities and it's also on the focus in the last uh, years that on the main focus of the coordinating office. Um, we have uh, in the in Chico's uh, a few uh, social media accounts. On first, we have the Twitter account. We have this since 2016. And until now, we have altogether 702 followers. So it's very successful there. And this year, we started two new platforms. The first was in, in May 2021, LinkedIn. And I was really surprised that there are so many followers uh, in this short period. We had 139 followers. And also we started uh, the YouTube channel, Gigos channel. Um, it was started in June 2021 and there we have 14 followers, but we have not so much content right now. I've uh, placed there a few links to other Geodesy videos um, and also produced only one video. But um, in future, I, we are planning uh, to, to um, make a an, an short uh, video about Gigos and also Geodesy. Um, it's a promotion film, um, like Toshi uh, said uh, before, from for the uh, for the uh, station, and also we would like to, uh, to uh, publish uh, presentation recordings, like that is from the Chicos days. Um, the other new thing is, of course, the new Chicos website. It was also mentioned before. Um, it serves as an information portal for the services, observation, and products and also provides this new Chico's blog and also the newsletter. And in the future, we are also planning uh, such popular articles, as I think it's, it, it will take a little bit uh, until we, we provide some of them. Okay, the new Chico's website, you can see here the start page of it, and I think uh, almost all have visited the page already. Um, this is uh, accessible uh, by the chico's.org. Um, and it was the new website was published uh, in December on December 8, 2020. And the target groups are, of course, the Chico's internal people, the geodes geodetic community, and also non geodesists. And as I think, especially with this information portal, um, the new uh, Chico's website is especially for the last group for the non geodesists, so for geoscientists. Uh, also people from other organizations and politicians, and also from the uh, general society. We have at the roadmap, so that are the, the past highlights. Um, in 2019, we had a um, preparation phase. So we thought about, yes, the old website is, is very static and has a lot of disadvantages, and we want to, to build a new website. And uh, in 2020, uh, we started the developing of it. We in the coordinating office and also uh, with cooperation of, of all members of GIGOS and also from the IRG, especially from the services. Um, then in December, I've mentioned it, uh, we, we uh, published the website. So the first version of the website is it's not the, the finished one. Um, because also we uh, uh, published in May 2021 the product pages. Uh, you can see them also on, on the next slides then. What are now the new functionalities? Um, in general, we have an updated uh, interactive design and also we integrated a search function. It wasn't possible on the old website. 
A main new thing is the Chico's blog. So we have really the news um, about Chico's and also about uh, geodesy in general um, uh, presented there on the Chico's blog and also a mailing list. So everyone who is interested to, to get the, the entries on the Chico's blog uh, regularly by a newsletter, uh, he can also subscribe for it. So until now there are 52 subscribers so far and it's, it's growing. And we have also this Chico's clouds to provide their um, documents uh, regarding uh, to the, the Chico's and for example, also for the Chico's days, there, there you can find all the, the presentation slides and also for former or past uh, Chico's days and other um, conferences or meetings. Yes, but the main big thing new thing of the website is that uh, the website serves as the information portal uh, to the geodetic services, to the geodetic observations and to the geodetic products. So the old website was more focusing on the GIGUS as the organization, um, but that's, it, it, it's, it's, it's not very uh, uh, good for the, the most visitors. The most visitors are not so familiar with, with GIGUS and, and want to learn more about geodesy and GIGUS. And therefore, um, the first part of the services, uh, this was also available at the old website, but it was refreshed now on the new and also the, the texts were updated. And on this link, you can uh, get, you get to the, the services pages and then you get a, a small text, um, introducing text uh, uh, of each services and also a lot of graphics there. And this links to the official services website. From the IHE services. Um, the second part are the geodetic observations. Um, this is uh, not published uh, so fast because uh, not all descriptions are finished uh, right now, um, but um, hopefully it will be finished in, in the end of this year. And this is also uh, this, on, uh, this, this, this is only a template here, um, a, a first draft of the graphic. Uh, where you can choose, you, you can directly click on the click on the graphic and uh, choose the technique, or you can also uh, find uh, the the technique um, by the uh, classification. You can also see it on the left side, and you get now to the twelve techniques, or with, with the Chico's core sites, there are thirteen. Um, uh, I also uh, prepared there are some uh, icons for each technique. And if you click on it, you get directly to the description page. You can see it on the right side. For example, here for the SLR, LLR um, page uh, with also a short introducing paragraph, then a graphic and or image. And you can also click on the read more button to get more information on the same side. The third new part are the geodetic products that were published in I've said it already in May this year. Um, there you, the user can uh, uh, find the, the product descriptions uh, by, by interactive graphics. You can see uh, the, the, the two graphics here um, where you can get directly uh, to the geodetic themes or to the Earth system components in space. Uh, and if you click on, on it, you get also to sub graphics, for example, here. Uh, which shows um, also the um, or, or each uh, geodetic product, uh, which is available at the website, and you can click on it and get uh, directly to the uh, description. Um, here you can see already this graphic of um, of the icons of uh, our um, um, of our products, um, which are generally uh, divided into the Earth so uh, Earth orientation, geometry, gravity field, positioning and application and reference frames. And if you click on it, you can, can have also uh, this description. If you uh, want to know more about it, you can also uh, see the presentation tomorrow um, by uh, Detlef Angermann about the Bureau of Products and Standards. We go in, in a little bit more detail about it. 
Okay, what are now the what is now the roadmap for the future? So um, in the end of 2021, the observation pages will be finished and also uh, published at the website. So that will be also uh, good. And in 2022, we also thought about uh, add additional products and also observation descriptions. Um, so there will come a lot of more uh, descriptions. And in general of the website, uh, in the Gigas blog and newsletter, we would like to inform the users about uh, Geodetic and Gigas news. So there will be, I think, at least one, one update, one uh, blog entry each month. And also we would like to attract new users uh, with social media, with YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, maybe more in future. And also we would like to update the content regularly. Uh, last but not least, I would like to go a little bit in also new functionality in the background, but I now I can show it. Uh, in the uh, uh, really new uh, functionality is also the user st statistic. Um, for example, you can see here from the beginning of publishing the websites on December 8, 2020, uh, to now uh, the daily visits over the time. Uh, so it's uh, slightly growing. Um, uh, we have also a few outliers there. Uh, don't worry about it. Um, it, it. It was a problem of the of the tracking system. And in in average, we have about seventy nine um, visitors per day. They visited the website about three minutes each visitor, each visit. And also the the, the most the time where the most uh, users visited the website was about ten. AM and, and 3 PM. So there are really nice uh, statistics there. Um, the visitors come from all over the world, almost from all countries of the world. And the top 10 countries uh, are also uh, displayed on the right side. So uh, from Russia, United States, Germany, Brazil, China, India, Japan, Turkey, Spain, and Argentina. And also very interesting is where does the users come from? Um, on the left side, you can see in, in general where they come from. So the, most of the people come from search engines. So they searched for the Chico's website or parts of it and clicked on it and came to the, the Chico's website. About uh, 26, 7 uh, percent came directly to the web website. And a few others come from other websites, links, and also from social networks or campaigns. So the social networks is very low, but I think maybe in future we can expand this, uh, the, the amount of people they, they come uh, of the social networks to the Chico's website. And if you go in more detail of the social media uh, part, um, the most people come from Twitter and then from LinkedIn. And, uh, it, it's a little bit surprising for me also from Facebook because we have no uh, Chico's um, channel on Facebook there and also from some other uh, social media uh, platforms. Okay, thank you very much for your attention and, and also want to invite you to visit the Chico's website, the blog and also register for the newsletter. And also I would like to invite you to also uh, visit the uh, social media uh, channels of Chico's, so from Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube, and please follow us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Martin, uh, for excellent uh, report and the excellent update. Uh, any question or comments to Martin? Yes, Karsten, please. Martin, I have a question to you. You refer to adding the descriptions of geodetic products to the website. Do you mean like um, descriptions to let people know what the products are about? Or are you referring to technical notes and all the detailed descriptions people use or need for, for using the data? Uh, no, so generally the descriptions which are also already available now at the website, but uh, for new products which are not now oh. uh, um, available. We have now 23 uh, descriptions and we want to increase the the, the amount of, of descriptions available there. Mm -hmm. Because the reason why I'm asking is that um, I'm aware that many of the 
of the real technical descriptions of geodetic products are available across various FTP or HTTPS servers across the world and it is it would be great to have one place possibly when they are even assigned with a DOI we, we can have DOIs for data products uh, for data reports for example and like to, to create one single place like similar what what IGS was doing for all their product descriptions I know that they have moved all of them mm -hmm. Because for anyone who's creating data or using any kind of references to data, it is extremely helpful to know where to look at. Yeah, just an idea. Yes, yes. in general, we want to make such a platform, information platform, uh, which shows all <laughs> um, product descriptions there. But we will focus mainly here on the IRG products. And yes, we have also a few other products, but there are uh, much more products uh, which which uh, have not the the, the the stamp uh, of the IG there. So in in the first um, uh, uh, level, we want to focus on the IG products. Okay, thanks. Is there another um, question? Yeah, uh, Martin, it's uh, Mike Perlman. I remember back to our meeting in Montreal when we discussed uh, setting up a website for GIGOS. And I just want to say that I am very impressed with the work that uh, you have done to pull this together. Uh, this is really very nice, and uh, I think it reflects very well on GIGOS. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any other comments, questions? Okay, uh, I also think uh, you and your team did a great job. Uh, the websites are uh, very attractive and uh, easy to understand, so must be uh, very helpful for our rest to outreach, Jolice and Jigos. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh,